Hi everyone, it is time for the second part of this um, video with this lovely little house and I have decided what colour to do the house. <laughs> Did you like my little drum roll? It's a bit pathetic really, wasn't it? I've decided that I'm going to do it in the sanguine colour. Um, polychromos we're using, I'm just sharpening my sanguine. And so I'm going to sort of just crack on really with the main bits of the house in the um, sanguine. Um, I think it's quite a good colour. Coming in a bit, but I need, there's quite a lot to do. Now, where should we start? Now, I'm looking at the house thinking about what, um, which bits are going to be sort of rendered and painted, which is what I think this is and um, which bits won't be so I'm thinking this bit but this I think could be wood and this is sort of the underside of the roof so um, these I'm never sure um, I'm thinking these might be wooden beams but are these windows is it a little balcony this um, washing line looks like it sort of almost disappears inside it as if it is a little balcony of some sort but it's not really how houses look, so I'm not entirely sure. So I think I might do them as windows. I think it would give us a nice light bright area, which would be nice. Now, when you've got a sort of render, it isn't always really smooth. So I'm not, I'm quite liking it looking a little bit rough. It almost looks like the finish isn't smooth on the house. And you can do it really smooth if you want, but I'm thinking a little bit rough is okay for me. And I will use another colour after to do some shadows up here and things like that. So I'm going to leave this bit and move up to our chimney, I think. I think I'll do the whole of the chimney pot. I always like my chimneys to match my main part of my house. I don't know why, it's how my chimney is. In my house it's got a cladding of fake limestone bricks. Well, I say fake, they're a um, limestone colour, they're sort of, um, I think they're concrete, I don't really know. Anyway, but the chimney is made of proper limestone bricks because they erode limestone you even see this yet? Yeah. Limestone erodes in the rain, acid rain particularly, because it's very alkaline. And um, all of our chimneys are starting to erode, little bits are chipping off and things like that. Whereas the house bricks are all absolutely fine. And uh, it's interesting. Um, yes, I remember one of my neighbours saying, I think I told you this, a bit of their chimney fell off when they were in the garden, which was fell down near them which is a bit of a worry and it depends how big a piece it is but you still don't want a bit of brick hitting you on the head really do you but luckily it didn't so that was good news I've off I picked this color and it's working well I sort of thought I wanted sort of earthy tones our greens are quite earthy in a way and I just thought it would sort of suit and I'm not sure how it's going to work with the sky because I want to do the sky bluish not um not grey. I mean, the sky in today is very grey. The UK skies are very often grey, but it's not, they don't look very nice in the picture. Plus, the washing's out in this picture, isn't it? So I feel that um, indicates something about the weather. So uh, we'll see. So I'm doing some of these pieces as sort of wood, like that. And then we've got all our brickwork here, so we're moving along. And um, this bit, um, we've got what looks like a wooden cladding on here. So I'm going to go straight over to here for this part. Now I'm not really sure whether this is going to be the last video or if there's going to be another one. It's quite, it's quite a lot to do. I don't want to rush. Um, I have got, yeah, I've got a video planned for another day, which just might clash with. But anyway, I might be able to shifty things around a bit. So it can be quite difficult. I've got nice and far ahead, which is good, but 
it means that then I've got to sort of plan carefully with where everything goes. When I get things like books to review, um, they need to sort of slot in a little bit. Anyways, I'll get there. It's quite fun moving things about, planning what's going to go when, etc. Um, and uh, yeah, I've got, when I finish this, I've got to think about my next um, series, which is fun, my small victories. I've had a list of, um, I've had people telling me or asking me really which pages they like me to do so it's, I've just got to go through it and decide which one I want to do next really I did try to thinking maybe I should do the one with the most votes um, but I don't know I'm, I find it better to just do what I'm in the mood for really and uh, so I'll have a look through the list and see which I most want to do I think that's the best way because then I'm more enthusiastic, which is always good. Now for the window frames, um, I'd like to um, do them with a light metallic looking, like a light grey and then a dark one around to make them look 3D. But they're so small I think we'll just have to end up doing them quite plain. Um, but I haven't finished this yet, so let's let's not think about those yet. Let's now. I want to do some shadows, and I think the burnt sienna might be quite a good colour for that. And I'm thinking, you know, like along here, in there, and maybe just take it out a little bit like that. And then under here, this pencil is a bit small. Uh, I think in the window, it'd be darker in there. There we go. Around here. Oh, we haven't done any over there either. Hang on, we'll get there. Just go around the plants a little bit. Just a bit of a darker bit. just going to sharpen this because I need it to be even smaller <laughs> right so here I'm thinking where they overlap a little bit of shadow in there under the windows what do you think maybe just a bit and then under the roof a bit more there we go now we've got this sort of gable so under this roof line it's going to be shadow. Oh, I mustn't forget the chimneys either. There we go. Let's do under here and then we can do the chimneys. I'm just trying to work out whether I want a bit there, but I think that might be flush, so I'm not going to worry about that. So chimney going to be a bit under that lip there and then we'll do a little bit each side just to try and make it look them look rounded but they're not going to be flat are they chimney pots aren't square hmm, it's looking a little bit weird let's just there we go I think that's better. I can't see it in my screen because uh, there's some writing over that bit. Thinking this bit in here might be quite dark. Be a lot of sort of shadow in there. And then just fade it as you come in towards the middle. My hand is rubbing on the uh, on the rings, making a noise. Okay, now oh, we need to go down here. So as before, quite a defined line. 
along the edge of the brickwork and then just take it out a bit around our little trees and I want to go under here we did on the other side and then windows like the other side a bit darker there a bit darker there there'd be some shadowing in those sort of gappy bits that's the right word no way it's dented in like that then <clears throat> a bit around the trunk <coughs> oh I've got a tickle now I knew I would I am um, I scoffed a couple of Grissini sticks just before I came on <laughs> and I didn't have a drink or anything. Dryness. Oh. <laughs> I'm just joking with you, I'm fine. <laughs> and around there. There we go. Yeah, I'm liking that. It's quite warm and friendly so now I'm just going to get a handkerchief and then we'll do the wood now the wood I'm thinking we'll do in two shades we can put a bit of um, wood grain look on it um, what should we grab first is that the nougat yeah we use the nougat first and then we use a darker one on top so all the wood bits think about the direction when you're colouring wood this is, you know, you can see this is sort of cladded in planks which are going that way. Then these, I would think, would be this way. Now this um, bit here, I think, has a bit of a mock Tudor look to it. But, um, or a Tudor look. But that isn't how I'm colouring it. Now this piece of wood, oh, it's got some lines either side, here and here. Now the door frame as well, I think is wooden. Just because of the way it's drawn. It's interesting how it goes under the door, we've got a big step. I'd, I'd fall over that all the time. I mean, every door has a little threshold, but really that, I think I'd fall into the house. But anyway, I've gone out the lines there. I'm just going to try and erase that a little bit because my stones aren't going to be brown. There we go. I'm just going to sharpen this. I think it's part of the problem. It's not very sharp. Then I can get down that edge. It's better without going out the lines. And the shutter should go this way. Quite tricky. Do my best. Can I my son playing a computer game? I think I'm having <coughs> an early lunch break. Oh, that grissini stick is back. Oh, not the whole thing. That would be a lot to get in your mouth in one go. Just, just the crumbs. I just realised I haven't put any shadow around the edge of this window only underneath it's probably okay I can always put some in if I think it needs it later Oops. so across for this one and these little ones it's a very cute house isn't it um, where are we going now um, here it's moving everywhere. Let's try and hold it still with my other hand. That's better. And there's a bit here which I think should be wood. And I don't know why I think that. Um, we've got to go up top here, this bit. Oh, let's put my arm down on my eraser. So I think this is wood just because of the lines drawn on it. 
No other reasoning. And um, I'm going to leave that bit as if it's the bottom of the roof. This bit under here. Hmm, might leave that too. Even though I've just coloured over it a tiny bit. We'll pretend I didn't. I'm sure no one saw. Right, now I'm going to get a darker brown. Um, what's this? The burnt umber. Give it a sharpen. So, burnt umber. Start down here. And the first thing I need to do is put in this bit of sh a bit of shadow there from the house, and then I'm just going to define the those lines that are there already, and then just draw a few lines on here to sort of emphasise that woody look. Hopefully that's okay. Here I'm just going to put a bit of shadow in from the roof. And we want some here. This porch bit's standing out quite a long way. We can put a little bit there as well. There we go. Not going to do. Uh, maybe I'll do a few lines. Like that. Now, this one, Johanna's drawn some lines here. So I'm going to go over it only a little bit because I really want that bit there to stand out. We'll draw lines on it. And then here again, really emphasise that shadow there. And the shadow on each of these. Just noticed how unsymmetrical the house is. I mean, I did realise it was, but you know, the porch isn't even in the middle. Anyway. <laughs> Sign that. How to have they? A shadow under here. We're saying that my house isn't symmetrical. I only stretch. It is with next door though, because we're um, opposites. Almost like a semi detached house. I don't know if you get those in all countries, but we have like a whole. Terrace. It's quite. Our house is all joined in a sort of um, U shape, almost N shape. So you get three there, two there, and two there. This is my neighbour. There's me. Block of flats. House. 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 Block of flats. House. Yeah. And all the houses are joined together. Now, I've just noticed it's raining again. I hope my boy doesn't get, he got so wet yesterday coming home. He got in, his trousers were soaked right through. Um, oh, we haven't done this bit. Um, his shoes were wet, but they not through to his feet luckily, but his socks were wet because his bottom of his trousers were so wet, it actually wet his socks. And uh, yeah, the bottoms of his trousers and the tops of his trousers, it, it's like down to the knee and then up from the ankle. He's, oh, poor boy. It's such horrible weather. But uh, we'll see. It's not so bad today. Um, just seeing, I think I'm happy with that. Now, I think it's time to do the roof. Um grey, just debating what colour. That's very odd, that looks like a warm grey. It is, it's been put away in the wrong place. Is that the cold grey? Yeah. I think I'm going to use a warm grey just because I think it goes better with the earthy tones. Not that I think you'll notice massively. And this is the warm grey 4. Let's just get started. So basically I'm going to colour in all of these roof bits that I want this colour and then I'm going to use 
a darker one to um, put in some shadows after. So, and this is going to be a little bit tricky with these leaves on here. But anyway, and the fact that this roof and this roof are going to be the same colour. But I'm going to use a much darker colour, I think, for some detailing. So hopefully it will sort of disappear. So you need a sharp pencil here, getting around these leaves. Could do them. But, um, no, I'm just going to do the roof. Got to do one bit first, whether it be leaves or roof. Trying to think about what to have for lunch already. I don't think there is much, to be honest. We all sh shop on a Saturday morning, and I'm very good at judging how much to buy so that um, we've got pretty empty cupboard on a Friday, and it's Friday today that I'm recording this, it's not Tuesday, it's Friday, confusing or what, and so there isn't much, there's there's enough vegetable, there's like half a pepper, some um, purple sprouting broccoli spears, some Brussels sprouts, um, half a tin of chickpeas, um, there's um, um, a parsnip and half a sweet potato and I think that's plenty to do a sort of stir fry or for tonight's tea but um, not for lunch might just end up with toast let's see if my actually there's some hummus which my son needs to use up and mm, I think I'm going to do this bit um, and a bit of roof in there um, yeah I think that's about all there is there's a roll as well on these using up it's very exciting I just have to eat all the rest of the grassini sticks Mm. I found some wholemeal ones you see in the deli in town. I only eat wholemeal grains. I don't. I just don't think white is got very much nutrition in. They tend to mill it. They tend to take it out when they make it white. I don't really understand. I struggle to understand why whole grains are dearer when they have less processing happening to them it makes I mean I guess it's more to do with the economies of scale I did A-level economics um, i.e. Um, it's they get cheaper raw materials because they buy more because the demand's higher but really I just don't understand it I don't I've never really I've, when I first switched from white to whole grain when I was a kid didn't really like it but now I wouldn't go back I really dislike white like white pasta to me is just slimy with no flavor and uh, obviously I overcook it I guess but you know and uh, white rice is just so sweet and things like that I guess it's just what you get used to and I don't white bread's got no flavor you know so anyway, mm, I could, could eat a piece of fried bread. It'd be a nice lunch. It'd be a bit rich though, wouldn't it? Mm. Last time I had a bit, I ate a bit of my husband's. He was cooking some and I had one little bit and it was so rich. That was it. It was like a centimetre cube because obviously um, it was his tea, not mine. And I ate a bit and I was like, that's plenty. But he probably uses more oil than I would. But I don't know for sure. Now we've got to do this bit of roof up here. Oh, we've got a chimney. 
Now I don't know if that bird is a weather vane or a bird. So that needs to be given some thought. This roof always looks to me like it's wooden, but it really wouldn't be. Wouldn't wouldn't be. Right, I think that chimney looks to me like it's made of metal. You can't see. There you go. Right, let's do some detailing on our roof. I'm going to use the um, dark sepia if I can find it. I don't know why it's gone. There it is. Dark sepia. We're going to do some details. Let's start down here. So here we can just simply put a line under there. We need some shadow here and under there. And there. That's it. Here we need a little bit more thought. We need some shadowing here. But we need to really make sure that this porchy bit looks like it's standing a long way out. So I'm gonna just really emphasize that shadow, whereas here this bit's just gonna be quite small. Like that. Um same here, just a little line there, but quite a bit here. I'm sort of tempted not to bother putting any shadow underneath the leaves. I'm going to put a little bit on these tiles, you know, because under each leaf there would be a little bit of shadow really, but I don't know whether I want to bother. I've got to go back and do that window, that's sort of in tile mode. Just the same as we did the ones that are in the walls ready. Um, I think I'm going to do this windowsill. Like that. Um, here, let's do this roof first. Let's just go around that. I'm thinking these tying put some shadow underneath here. And here, oh, we need to put the line there. Like that. Um, under here. So we need to put a shadow firstly from where this building is jutting out. Then each tile just going to put, make it a little bit darker where they overlap. You can do them the whole row in one go and have to do each one individually. Make it a little bit quicker. And then in that gap. Let's have a look. Very square. Um, yes, now our window frames. I want a cold grey. I am going to use the cold grey four, and we are going to do where are they? We've got one here. And this one here. Whoops. And a little one down here. Hmm, leave the door. We've got this one. I knew there was more. I 
definitely going to make a third video because I'm getting hungry. I'm just going to do the windows, the glow from the window. I'm going to use the cadmium yellow and then I am going to um, sign off and we'll finish it off tomorrow. This is very vibrant. I think it helps to make the house look very welcoming. I just noticed that I've missed a bit in there so we're going to grab our warm grey of four and just do that bit in there. There we go. Now I had had this idea of making the inside of the house through all the windows be a really mysterious colour like purple or pink and make their purple or pink smoke coming out of the chimney which I thought could be a bit of fun but I decided that it's quite a cold colour and I quite like these earthy tones, warmth, you know, all that going on. So I decided against it. I have done that in a picture in um, Tales from the Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carlson and I made the inside of the house look really fiery and then there was like fire coming out of the chimney. It's quite fun. It's the um, this book belongs to Paige. We do have a little lantern here as well. But we're going to come back and do the details tomorrow. There's too much left. Because we've got all these stone work. And then it's all the little fiddly bits which are going to take time. And of course the sky. Which isn't fiddly. But takes time. And the washing. Yeah. I'm going to leave it there. Let's come out. We haven't done loads, but I think it's enough for today. For me, anyway, so I'm hungry. And I know we haven't done the chimney. Well, we haven't finished the house, so we're just, we're just getting there. But uh, so far, so good, I think. So that's good. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I um, hope you have a really super day. And happy covering. <laughs>